<laughs> Hi, folks. I'm back here with uh, Dr. Jerry Zimmerman, a reward on the faculty. And Jerry, you uh, just showed us a couple of very interesting uh, cases of trauma. Um, one was trauma, and the other one was a case of, uh, well, iatrogenic issues. Uh, let's just put it that way. And uh, that you did a good job uh, sa saving those teeth and uh, treating and treating them properly. And now you wanted to share with us your first experience with the ESX file. You've been an EndoSequence user for many years, and now you've converted to change uh, to use the ESX, and you've done a few cases, and you just wanted to share with us the, one of the first cases. Just to do that uh, very quickly, to go over the idea of ESX, which was inspired by EndoSequence, it's, uh, the idea is getting a master file to the end of the road and having a matching cut approach point yes. that is coated with bioceramic that would act as a medium to bond the bioceramic to the canal walls and to the gutta percha surface. Yes. It's kind of like you know bonding a post, except that we're bonding the gutta percha inside the root. It's the similar kind of idea, right, in terms of obturation. But in terms of instrumentation, the ESX is just an abbreviated version of uh, endosequence. So uh, let's talk about this case, which is the first case you've done, which is number 18, I guess, right? So this, this patient presented, and she, she had pain uh, in tooth number 18 in that area and there was a carious exposure. Also on number 19 she appeared to have a periapical radiolucency on the mesial root uh, and the crown might have had an open margin on the mesial so that that tooth was slated for retreatment. Uh, tooth number 18 was more of an emergency problem so we treated that one first. Yeah. So uh, in this case we used the ESX files so we opened it we did our access we opened up the tooth and the roots were pretty curved and they all joined it in the apical air, two millimeters. Uh, so initially I could only get uh, an eight file down to the apical area. So I explored first with the number eight file and then I used the 1505 EX, ESX file and we got about two thirds of the way down. So this was an advanced case. So in these advanced cases we use the ESX scout files which are 15 files with 04 and 02 taper. So I used a 1505 ESX file and then a 1504 and then a 1502 and by the time I used the 1502 I was able to get down all three Pretty canals. Pretty much down to the end of the road. And, and then I went back um, to the 1505 and then I was able to get that all the way down, down. So once I'm able to get the 1505 ESX file I can then use our finishing files. So we we um, took out a 2504 and that went down each canal in one pass and there was still a little bit of tissue left on the file so the, the canals weren't completely clean so 